Hello everyone. I'm going to be making my chicken kale soup today. So this is what I use. I get this at Costco. The sipping bone broth helps heal your intestinal tract and protect it. Builds up immunity. Really good for immunity. So um, I've got to set my phone down so you guys can see where my workstation is. Um, it's right here, and uh, my board is a little bit dirty. I gotta clean up here a little bit. Let me set my phone down right there. That way, you'll be able to see. I've gotta clean my board. Hold on a sec. The boys in the bread. Gotta be chopping my vegetables. Um, I just wanted to let you know that when I um, do my water, I use my um, drinking water to this high pH, and then I use half and half. So it's like um, I, I fill my Dutch oven half full of um, plain high pH water, and then I, I got that one, con I filled this whole container, I put this whole container of the bone broth in. Let me clean up the breadcrumbs from the boys here. Oh, my tea water is boiling. I put ginger in my tea water this morning. I'm having my toasty tea. But I want my ginger kind of soft, so... I'm like really multitasking here today. surface clean. Boys, boys, boys. Oops, excuse me. I just stop it from falling. So I've got my board, so that way you guys can sit here and watch me chop my carrots. And um, see, I just picked this up at Grocery Outlet today for three dollars. Baby kale, organic, Earthbound Farms. I love grocery outlet for this because I just put this all in the soup. Because anyone who's really health conscious should know that you should not eat kale raw in salads. It has to be cooked to get that nutritional value out of it. And the reason that I do this it's because um, I lose weight really quick off of this. So I usually put in like maybe a pound or two of organic. I go downtown and I purchase um, um, bre breast meat from Mary's Organic Farm out in the Central Valley. And um, it's like $6 a pound, but I don't mind spending that, man. This chicken is air chilled, not processed with water. Tastes phenomenally good. So, um, that's what I do. And then, um, but I'm not putting chicken in this one. I'm going to make this one more vegan. Even though it's got chicken bone broth. Where's my chopping knife? Here it is. Let me put my celery away. That's what I love about Grocery Outlet. Get organic celery, everything there. 
a lot of a good part of my produce. They, the apples and stuff I get elsewhere. They don't really have that good of apples. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, so it's like um, for my cooking, I really um, enjoy good, healthy produce. An apple a day, you really need your pectin. So it's like when you have to eat carb-free, most of it, you're only allowed like 45 carbs a day. That's it. You can bake yourself an apple or a sweet potato with a little bit of ghee or honey on it, and that's it at night. But it's always good to eat a little bit of protein before you go to bed, too. Let me turn off my tea water so it don't evaporate on me. Okay, so we got this done. Put my carrots. Let's see, this is Cal Organic carrots. I get these at at grocery outlet too for two dollars a pound. Two dollars a bag. They are the best carrots. I don't eat the baby carrots. The bigger carrots taste phenomenal. The flavor. And I like a lot of carrots in my soup. Probably put, um, maybe about, oh, that carrot. This carrot grew. Carrot's rolling off all over the place. Okay. So I could, do have to invest in getting um, a food waste bin. From Home Depot, so I can make my own compost, and then um, that'll save me some additional money too when I can do that because I I've got really good earthworms here in the soil, so if I can find a few, they um, put them in put them in to break the food down, and they'll compost the food. I'm going to put a lot of carrots in. I'm going to probably put one or two more carrots in. Carrots are one of the highest vegetables with potassium. So it's like if you've got low vitamin D levels, these are excellent to eat. If you have just three carrots a day, that fills all your potassium needs. Because I've got, I was having issues with potassium in my younger years. A lot of people think that bananas are good for potassium. They're not. They're not at all. They're one of the lowest um, plant-based foods that um, don't have that much, which I learned in my food science course last semester. So, yeah. I explained why I was getting shin splints when I was jogging three miles a day. I used to jog three miles a day and do Jane Fonda. I used to work out 17 hours a week. Just to lose 20 pounds because it would not come off. So it's like I had a low thyroid. Uh-oh, I dropped a carrot somewhere. Let's see where it went. Okay. So here's what we got so far. So I've got the kale in there. I've got the carrots and the celery. I don't have the fire on yet. I heard a carrot fall. 
on the stove. There it is. I fell on the other one. Okay. So I'm going to season this. I've got my Himalayan pink salt over here. I don't season a lot with salt. But when I do, it's Himalayan pink salt. And I just do a little bit. But I also like to use black pepper more than anything. Because black pepper, what black pepper does, it enhances the nutrition value of everything you add it to. So I've got a lot of good pepper in there. And then I've got my thyme I put in. I have Simply Organic Thyme. I picked this up at um, the Vitamin Herb Store. But it's the real natural herb. It's natural powder. So it's like um, you have to add a little bit more. Let me 